Again, that was a CBS News special report from New York in regards to a very serious Amtrak derailment in Tacoma, Washington. We want to continue that coverage right now. So here's our first look at live pictures of the scene. You can see the massive amount of first responders on scene. Again, this is where a train derailed dangling onto the busy I-5 expressway, which travels along the West Coast. This was a new route between Seattle and Portland. And again, we've heard that there are anywhere from 70 to 70 five people who were on board that train. There are reports of some fatalities, but this is absolutely still developing, still trying to get a handle on the numbers of even the people who were on the train and, of course, a number on fatalities. It happened just before 930 Chicago time. The sheriff's office has confirmed that there are fatalities, though, and there are even still some people who remain trapped. Thanks for being with us right now. I'm Erin Kennedy. And I'm Mike Puccinelli in today for Marissa Bailey. Now, it was the first day of a new high-speed train service from a new station and there was a ribbon cutting ceremony on Friday. Right now, it's not sure if there are new tracks that this happened on. Now, this picture posted on Twitter by a Washington state trooper shows two train cars on top of each other right after the derailment. There were about 70 to 75 people on board. Now, this is another picture posted to Twitter by that same state trooper. You can see all the emergency vehicles that have responded to the area. The National Transportation Safety Board is also on the way to the scene to investigate.